recent weeks, we've seen Prince William and Kate Middleton visiting Wales, Scotland, and Ireland. Well, this morning, they're in a small community in northern England called Darwin in Lancashire. They're opening a community center there. Thousands have turned out, despite the inclement weather, as you can tell by the umbrellas there. Everyone there to catch a glimpse of the couple, Royal Contributor Victoria Arbiter, is also there this morning and joins us with the very latest. You're braving the elements as well. Good morning. What are, what are they doing? What are they here for this morning? Good morning, Erica. Well, they're here to launch the Darwin Academy, the Community Academy. They're going to also launch a Prince Award scheme. And then they're going on to Witten Country Park to view recreational activities and highlight the importance of having green space and, and places for people really to be outside, off the sofa, out enjoying life, even when it's pouring with rain like today. <laughs> even when it may not be the most beautiful day outside. And it is, it is very significant that this is their, their last of, of four stops throughout the United Kingdom, the four corners essentially. That's right. They've, we've seen them flip pancakes in Ireland. They visited their alma mater in Scotland. They christened a lifeboat in Wales. And they seem to be having a great time here in Northern England. There's been an incredible turnout, especially considering the weather. We've got reams of school children behind me all eagerly waiting a glimpse of the new princess. So it's been a very successful morning. Very successful. Let's talk guest list now. So more names. Uh, are leaking out, or at least we think these are the names. Give us an idea, are a lot of the people on the list uh, people who were expected to be there? Any surprises? There aren't a huge number of surprises. I guess what is surprising is it's not quite the celebrity circus that you would imagine from a wedding of this scale. We knew about the Beckhams and Elton John, but we've now seen director Guy Ritchie added to the list, Rowan Atkinson, an actor. Uh, we're also seeing a lot of loyalty rewarded. People that have been very good to Prince William throughout his life, from his housemaster at Eton College, his headmaster at prep school, even his very first nanny, Barbara Barnes, is on the list. So loyalty obviously means a lot to this royal couple. We're also seeing people that have contributed vast sums of money to Prince Charles's charities. And many of the papers are reporting that there are business associates of both the Middletons and Prince Charles. So we're definitely seeing invitations given as a reward to people that have both been good, helpful, given money, all that kind of thing. It's also interesting that a number of the exes of both the bride and groom are on the list. They're Yes, there are a number of exes, but we have to remember that these people that are exes have been friends for way longer than they were ever a boyfriend or a girlfriend. On the girlfriend list is Rose Farquhar, William's very first girl girlfriend, Jekka Craig, rumored to be William's very first love, and Arabella Musgrave, who he was dating right before he went to St Andrews, and apparently she's part of the reason he was so unhappy in his first term, but mm. all great friends now. Jekka Craig, even right. her family has an estate in Kenya that Will and Kate have visited. And her whole family will be there. We're here. Victoria, always great to have you with us. Now go get inside where it's dry. Have a cup of tea. Thank you.